American Apparel, number one retailer for shiny, shiny pants, crop tops and bodysuits. But also known for some spicy and controversial campaign ads. Uh, let's walk through a few examples with our ad vlogger Cliff. Welcome Cliff. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi. Uh, please tell us. Yeah, so American Apparel is one of the only fashion companies that actually doesn't produce their products in third world countries. Um, so you may see this in the high prices, but they also depict this in very racy ads. Uh, as an example, the one that ran in Vice in 2014 had a Bangladeshi woman with made in Bangladesh across her chest, which censored uh, the nudity, but also it just was very racy and uh, controversial. Cool. And um, we also heard something about uh, mannequins with pubic hair. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so in 2014, actually just last year, and I think it was the East Houston Street uh, American Apparel in New York City, uh, they added pubic hair and I think even nipple, uh, nipples to their mannequins, which is interesting because that's actually what is real as opposed to, to the, the fake shaved or the like thereof hair. So it's actually funny to think the shocking thing should be the, th you know, the unnatural, yet the natural is shocking. True, true. Fair too. Okay, but um, do you think this is all part of a, a bigger marketing strategy? Oh, definitely. I mean, sex is just like food, it's impossible to ignore. Uh, so, sex will always work and it always has worked in advertising. And American Apparel has a good example because it's clothing. And these are day to day uh, depictions that everyone is, uh, is relevant with because everyone knows about sex. So, it'll always work. It's worked in the past, it'll work in the future. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, Cliff, for everything. And uh, to see more, check out interconnection.com.